How would you describe a Rocky Road brownie? A dense fudge brownie with a pillowy top? Come on and I'll show you how to make the easiest five layer brownie you've ever made. So let's start with it. We're going to start with the first layer, a half a cup of butter and a cup of sugar and one ounce of square of chocolate melted, uns no, unsweet. Got that kind. I just melted mine in the microwave. I've uh, turned my oven on to 350. I took my pan of 13 by 9 and I greased and floured it. Got it ready. Now I'm going to add the two beaten eggs, half a cup of pecans, and a half a cup of all purpose flour. Gonna mix that up. We'll scrape the sides real well. Now we're gonna pour it in our pan that we've uh, floured and put shortening in. And we're going on the second layer. We got uh, six ounces of cream cheese softened. Make sure it's at room temperature. One fourth cup of butter melted. And you got one fourth cup of sugar. You got one egg beaten. Just get, just take a fork and, and you got um, one fourth cup of pecans chopped, one tablespoon of all purpose flour, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna mix all this up. And it's smooth, and that's how it'll look. And we're just gonna lay it across this brownie. And we're not going to mix it. We're just going to smooth it out.
And we got our oven on to 350. It's already preheated. And we're going to put it in the oven between 35 and 45 minutes until the, it's set. Um, <clears throat> to check it at 35, just in case. And then we're going to do the other, other two layers. Uh, when I put the uh, brownies in the oven, uh, I forgot to sprinkle the chocolate morsels on top of the cheese. Uh, so I had to bring it back out real quick, put the chocolate morsels on top and stick it in the oven. So we're good, we're good. And now we're gonna put two cups of mini marshmallows. and spread that around. Make sure every little inch has a, a marshmallow. Okay, I have a double boiler. We're going to put two one ounce squares of unsweetened chocolate. And there it is. and a half a cup of milk and half a cup of butter. This is the icing that goes on it. One fourth teaspoon of vanilla. Bring the water to a boil, reduce the heat, and we're gonna we're gonna stir. Until it starts to melt. The chocolate is melted, so we're going to put the powdered sugar, four cups of powdered sugar. We're going to stir it up. You just stir it until all that powdered sugar melts. Make sure you get all that in lumps and your thing. Pull up 
pour the just pour it all over there try to get everything covered And just very gently try to get it all covered up. I've had this recipe for at least 30 years, I think. <clears throat> I got it out of a Southern Living uh, magazine. Uh, and then I, I bought the cookbook that had it in there. But uh, it's, I usually only make it during the holidays because uh, it's really rich and um, it's really good. Now as it co coos off and co gets cold, it will get stiff, this frosting. Rocky Road Brownies. It'll uh, leave them in the, let them cool off on the stove for a little bit and then put them in the fridge and for at least two or three hours. I like to leave mine overnight and start to cutting and they're going to be wonderful. So I hope you try this recipe and I hope you like it and um, it's between a brownie and fudge and it's just wonderful. So until next time, God bless. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you've learned something. Subscribe to see more videos. Leave a comment on what you would like to learn.